We're going to our lecture, the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot. This new pilot program is being uh, in the works. Was the announcement was released at the beginning of 2019, and they were accepting application for communities uh, from Canada till March 11, 2019. So now the application process for the communities that will participate in this uh, immigration pilot program are closed. So we expect to have some news from the Immigration Canada about which community will participate, a uh, bit approved after the process is done. And then once we have that information, we'll be able to guide the international foreign workers to see if they can participate and apply through these programs. The idea is to make this program very look like the Atlantic Immigration Program. That is is the it's inspired on that pilot program. So we might expect some uh, guidelines and requirements very similar to that program. So basically, they're working now with the communities. And now as you see, in the, this is the web page with the information. And the idea is to help those communities that need immigrants, need labor force, to increase population and increase their economic activity. But of course, those communities have to fill the requirements to help the immigrants integrate once they come to Canada. As you see, there's a lot of organizations that are going to be working on that, economic development organizations and settlement services. So when you go to the community that can apply, they're looking for communities that have a population of more than 50 thousand people and uh, are located in less than 70, 75 kilometers from the core census metropolitan area for a bigger city or they can be up to 200,000 people and consider be remote in other large cities so that's the, the criteria when it comes to population for this community to participate they can be in Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, Northwest Territories, Nunavut, Ontario, Saskatchewan and the Yukon Basically, these are the provinces that have been targeted for this pilot program. They have to have job opportunities. And they have to have also an economic development plan. And they have to have some or economic development organization that are going to manage the pilot program in the community specifically. They also have to be able to have several new immigrants in the community by having a relationship with the local immigrant service organization. They're going to have also contact with newcomers through networking and mentoring. And they have to offer access to services like education, housing, transportation, and healthcare. And have to have the support of the municipality, local leaders, and the local regional immigrant service organization. And they are encouraging us for community with French speaking populations to do the same. So it's going to be interesting once we have the final list, uh, our review it now. So once we have the list of communities and the total requirement, we will be updating this section and lecture. So role and responsibilities for the community, of course, is need to attract new immigrants, need to match those potential immigrants with jobs, they need to promote and work on the community for immigrants, they need to connect immigrants to establish members in the community and settlement services. So that's the plan and the community pilot that they want to accomplish through the communities. They need to submit the application and manage the the, the program on, the, on their own. So. Once they pass that requirement, then we're going to have that list of communities. It's going to be very interesting because these are very, based on what it seems, this is going to be communities that are looking for immigrants. So they're going to, going to be in the advantage of the foreign workers. How to apply, that's for the information for the communities. Once they finish, they're going to have information for the potential workers, what to do to contact those communities and, and they start the process. So. If you're going to reflect something similar to the At Atlantic uh, Immigration Pilot Program, then you have a reference there, okay? So this is the email of the organizations, uh, the immigration services that are dealing with that right now. Of course, that's not for you, but for communities that are looking for or this, uh, this kind of pilot program. The, the call for communities is closed. They cannot submit any more requests. So we're just waiting for the update of the community that are going to be participating in the pilot program. I hope you enjoy this lecture and I will keep you updated with latest information about this new pilot program. Thank you very much.